Welcome back children to our third video on chapter 7 human settlements and today we are going to discuss urbanization in India. The picture here shows you a, an urban area in India. Okay looking at the high rise buildings, cement and concrete buildings we can gauge that it is an urban area. Let us understand what is urbanization. Okay it is the level of normally the level of urbanization is measured in terms of percentage of people residing in urban areas to the total population so how do we calculate percentage of urban population it is the people total people living in urban areas upon the total population of the country into 100 okay so urbanization is measured in percentage on page 48 you have this graph that is given here which gives you the urban population right from 1961 to 2011 there's a mistake over here this is 2011 okay now what you notice about the urban population is that there is a steady increase in the urban population from 1961 onwards from 18 to 18.2 to 23.3 percent urbanized to 25 percent urbanized 27.8 percent and ultimately 31.2 percent urbanized okay now i would like you to pause the video for a little while and calculate the growth rate of urban population and how do you do that 18.2 minus 18 and that becomes 0 0.2 okay so once you do that then it will be easier for you to find out between which decade was the growth in urban population highest okay so pause the video and come back and once you come back and I'm, I'm sure you have the answers now okay so we find I'll write it down also for you between 1971 to 1981 the growth in urban population was 5.1%. Between 1981 to 1991, it was 2.4% growth rate. Between 1991 to 2001, the growth rate was 2.1%. And between 2001 to 2011, it has been 3.4% of growth. Now, what we notice from here is the trend of urban population okay and the growth rate as well so what we notice is between the year 1961 to 71 there was a very very slow growth in the urban population then between the year 1971 to 1981 there was a very high growth rate in urban population that was 5.1 percent what could be the reasons industrialization development facilities infrastructure etc okay then the growth rate decreased to 2.4 percent though the urban population did not decrease urban population has kept uh, kept on increasing okay but the growth rate that is the rate at which the urban population was growing reduced to 2.4 percent then it reduced to 2.1 percent and between 2001 to 2011 again the growth rate of urban population increased to 3.4 percent so in which decade was the urban population the most urban population was most in the year 2011 but the growth in urban population was the highest in between 1971 and 1981 and that was 5.1%. So now you will be able to answer many of the questions. Before proceeding, let me just explain to you. Our urban population as in the year 2011 was 31.2% which is really very very not really good it's very bad okay because if you calculate how many people we can ask you that question as how much percent of people according to 2011 are still residing in the village how will you get that 100 minus 31.2 and that comes to 68.8 percent of people are still residing in rural areas in India according to 2011 okay data now that means that majority of the people in India are residing in rural areas and only 31.2 percent of our population is residing in urban areas okay I hope I'm clear 
Now there are a few questions which we need to answer on page 48. What was the percentage of urbanization in 1961? And that's very clear from the graph. It is 18.0%. Do not forget to write the unit percentage. The second question is in which decade was urbanization the highest? As I told you, urbanization was highest. They didn't ask you for the growth. So 31.2 is the highest urban, uh, urban population. Okay, so therefore the, uh, the decade was 2001 to 2011 when urbanization was the highest. Okay, we are not talking about the rate. We are just talking about highest urbanization okay, percentage. So 2001, 2011. Now we have added, I have added this additional question in which decade was the growth of urbanization the highest? So now we have the answer and how much was it? The decade between 1971 to 81, the growth of urbanization was the highest and it was 5.1%. Now in case this question comes, Okay, in order to get the proper answer, we don't know what the evaluator is looking out for, whether he's looking out for this year or whether he's looking out for this year, because the question is a little confusing. So to be on the safe side, let us become a little smarter. Okay, and we will write the decade between 2001 and 2011, urbanization was highest, it was 31.2%. Uh, but the growth of urbanization was highest between the decades 1971 to 1981 and that was 5.1% and we can underline the word growth okay so they un they the evaluator understands that you know the answer well okay because we really don't know sometimes the model answer gives us this date may give us this date we don't know okay so therefore we need to be a little smarter the next question is, in which decade was the growth of urbanization the lowest? We have seen that it was 1961 to 1971. And it, how much was it? Then 0.2%. What inference can you draw regarding India's urbanization after reading the graph? Now this is a question where we analyze the graph. And we have already seen that initially there was uh, hardly any growth in urban population. Okay, which was hardly growth of 0.2%. And the population increased from 18 to just 18.2 percent. Then there was a huge growth between the day or rather in the decade 1971 to 81. Since then there, were, there has been a steady increase. However, the growth rate has decreased and then in the year 2001 to 2011, the growth rate increased once again to 3.4 percent. However, the growth of urban population is not substantial as only 31.2% of people are residing in urban areas. That means 68.8% of people are still living in rural areas. Okay, so here we get a little summary of urbanization in India. More urbanization is seen in the southern India rather than in northern India. In chapter 6, when we studied about the population, okay, we found that the southern states are have more density of population as compared to northern states. Why do you think that happens? Because of urbanization, because of industrialization, because of facilities, okay, transport facilities, etc., etc. So that means the uh, people... Uh, the southern part of India has more people because urbanization has taken place more in southern India rather than in northern India. Once you know this concept, then there is no need for you to mug up any states. You can write it on your own. Among the southern states, fill in the blanks, Goa. Goa is the most urbanized state with 62% of population living in urban areas. This could be a fill in the blank or it could be a map work. Locate the state which is highly urbanized. So that is Goa with 62%. Delhi is the city, okay, capital of India, city capital of India. It has more than 80%, it is more than 80% urbanized. Okay, but when we ask for state, it should be Goa. Then the southern states, we, we, uh, if a question comes as name few states which are highly urbanized, no need to mug up. Just remember the southern states. Southern states come Maharashtra, Tamil Nadu, Kerala, Gujarat, you can write Karnataka as well. 
What about the states which are which have least urbanization or less urbanization? Those are the northern states like Himachal Pradesh, Jammu Kashmir, Rajasthan is definitely among them, and Uttarakhand and Bihar. These states have very low level of urbanization. Then on page forty eight, you have an activity. Try it yourself. Okay, prepare a corporate map showing urban population using the data given in the table below. Now, in the ninth standard, we know corporate method uses uh, can be drawn in two ways. One is through black and white patterns like this, or through color shading. I would advise you to stick to black and white patterns because while shading, in case the shade tint, okay, does not match with your index, you can lose marks. So there are two ways of preparing, but I would prefer this method. Now what you need to do is prepare an index first. Okay, so number one, two, three, four, five, all these will be there: zero to twenty, twenty-one to forty, forty-one to uh, sixty, whatever, sixty-one to eighty, eighty-one to hundred percent. Next column should be the pattern from. a uh, lower density to higher density that is from so lines can be far away then it can be a little closer then it can be a different pattern okay you can use black and white patterns for drawing this and closest highest density will be for 81.100 next what you do is after drawing this much write all these states down okay in the last column then go to the map and look out for himachal pradesh bihar assam and odisha and there you draw the same pattern that is mentioned here in the index then go to all these states and look out for the pattern that is given here and draw the same pattern in these states similarly you have to do the for the other states as well so this is the way we do not get confused then regarding the corporate map Okay so the answer will be your map will look something like this you can try it out you can also leave the place blank okay and that could be one of the symbols or if they have not given the states anywhere in this column here then you can just leave them blank okay so in the next video i will talk about urbanization in brazil but remember and do the corporate map if possible also draw a line graph for this table which is on page 49 okay and that will give you the urban population of brazil till then take care and god bless you thank you